In this video we're going to look at the oscoxal bone. Uh, what you're seeing here is actually a pelvic girdle. It's made up of the two or bilateral oscoxae and this is how they would reside in your body. You're looking at an anterior view here. You can see the last of your vertebrae, your lumbar vertebrae, articulating with the superior aspect of the sacrum. If we look at this oscoxal bone individually we can see first of all that it's made up of three bones the ilium, the ischium, and the pubis. And these three bones fuse together at this structure identified as the acetabulum. This is where your femoral head will articulate with your oscoxal bones. Let's start with the ilium. This is your iliac crest. This is the area you call your hip bone. On the anterior surface, which we see here, we have an anterior superior iliac spine, an anterior inferior iliac spine. Coming to the posterior, we have a posterior superior and a posterior inferior iliac spine. Here, this notch is called the greater sciatic notch. This projection is the ischial spine. We're now moving into parts of the ischial bone. This roughened area right here is your ischial tuberosity. This is what you actually sit on or should sit on. This anterior bone, which you can see right here, is your pubis. This is the pubic crest or superior pubic ramus. Right here is where one oscoxal bone will articulate with the other oscoxal bone at an area called the pubic symphysis in which you will have a tight and very firm cartilaginous pad holding the two together on the anterior. If we look at this roughened area, now this is the medial aspect, this is known as the auricular surface. This is where your iliac bone will articulate with the lateral aspect of your sacral bone. So what you're viewing here is one half of your pelvic girdle. This would be the right oscoxal bone.